Hello and welcome to 1959 West Bataan. It's Bataan or Bataan, everybody calls it different, but this is in East Kettering. We are located close to the green, 675, 35. So guys, we're just a short distance to Wright State, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, University of Dayton, all kinds of places. The green, so fantastic location here. This is a three bedroom, one and a half bath, Cape Cod home with a massive two-car garage. We'll check that out here momentarily. Semi-finished basement. Right now we're looking at the covered front porch. And that looks all aluminum, so we have some good front porch sitting on this home. Looks like we have some updated vinyl siding. This is the side slash back door. Um, all the windows that I've seen in this home are updated. The electrical service is updated. And look at the size of this garage can park three cars back here. We do have central air conditioning. Easily manageable backyard. And the backyard backs up to what we're looking at across the street right there is Ascension. Ascension School right there. But a huge backyard, or excuse me, a huge garage, manageable backyard. There is a space behind the garage where that does open up back there. And the yard is for the most part fenced in all the way around except for the driveway side right here so you could easily put a gate. Next, let's go check out the inside. All right, so here I just walked to the front door. This is a steel door with a, what is this? Nine paneled window. This is brand new carpet here, ladies and gentlemen. I believe I am one of the first people to have ever walked on this with the exception of the carpet installers. Looks like we have a fresh coat of paint. The windows are updated. These are double pane glass. We do have an overhead light, so you can throw a ceiling fan in there if you want to. From the living room, this walks into the kitchen. We have ceramic tile in here. The refrigerator does stay, the range does stay, and the dishwasher stays. And these are the 42 inch cabinets, so these are a foot bigger than a typical cabinet. And then right there, that will overlook the backyard where you can see the kids and dogs run and play. This door takes us down to the basement. We'll check that out here momentarily. Wanted to show you the first two bedrooms on the first floor here. And then this takes us up to the big bedroom. The whole upstairs is one bedroom here. So bathroom, very bright, white and clean. Ceramic tile in here as well. Six panel doors, excuse me, on the bathroom there. And then we have the original solid wood doors going to the bedrooms. So this bedroom's on the back left of the home. We do have a solid wood door closet here. In this bedroom, we do have an overhead light. So you can throw a ceiling fan in there if need be. Bedroom number two, and I might have these labeled differently online. This is the larger of the first floor bedrooms. This is on the front left of the home. So that's the first floor. While we're here, let's go check out the second floor. All right, so here just came to the top of the stairs. We have this little storage over area over here. This would be perfect to put some shoe racks right there and just make a huge walk-in shoe closet right there. Or just a spot to store the boxes or the toys. This area right here would be a perfect office area. And that opens up into the bedroom. This is the third bedroom here. A good sized bedroom. Could fit a king bed in here, no problem. Big closet, and I have seen people convert this to a half bathroom, and then put the closet over there where we just were for the shoe closet. But all kinds of possibilities, and the windows are updated up here as well. Next, let's go check out the basement. All right, so here I just came down to the basement, and this is the big area of the basement here. This would be a perfect spot to put a pool table, ping pong table, and we even have room for a fool's table. You can make a wet bar down here. I'll talk about that more here in a second. I'm gonna walk back to the corner. As you can see back here, there's a huge section over here as well. That'd be a perfect theater room spot. There is a drain right there. And the utility room is back over here. And this is the storage room and mechanical room. So we do have water over here. So you could throw a, a wet bar over here very easily. So all kinds of possibilities of things you could do down here in the basement. Then coming around the stairs, we have under the stairs storage here, updated panel box right there that was done in 2008. Washer and dryer sit here. And then this is the toilet closet. <laughs> it's a door that goes to 
our toilet here. This would be our half bathroom. And then the sink right here, our water heater, furnace, and our storage area right here. So a good amount of space. And this is where I was saying we have water right here. You have the drain behind me at the sink. So we could configure a wet bar here or potentially maybe something over here because we have the water over here. And then of course that floor drain to incorporate that. So definitely a lot of possibilities. Your only limitation is your imagination. Next, let me meet you upstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they would be happy to show you this home. Great house, three bedrooms, one half bath, huge garage, semi-finished basement, new carpet, fresh paint. Guys, this home has a little bit for a little bit of something for everybody. And at this price with a, with a nice size garage and a basement, you really can't go wrong. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you.